What's up you guys, this is Devin from Century Effects Studios and we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about and reviewing the lens pen. I don't know what company makes it, but it's copyrighted as the lens pen. Oh, it says Lens Pen USA. So, let's go with Lens Pen USA. Alright guys, I got the lens pen in my hand for Christmas. Uh, my papa bought it for me and he thought it would be a good way to help me keep my lenses clean, of course. Now, when I first looked at it, I'm like, oh, this is just a gimmick. This, you know, it looks kind of neat. You know, you can put it on your, you know, your shirt or whatever. You're on a shoot or whatever. Put it on your shirt and it's done. You know, you can pop it off, bang, 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 clean your lens. But um, just recently, probably like a month ago, I was teaching a photography lesson with, um, with a pastor. Uh, and he was saying how much he used the lens pen. I was like, wait. I have the lens pen, I just haven't opened it yet. And um, I usually use microfiber cloths, and that's essentially what this pen is. It's a brush and a microfiber cloth all in one. So when you pull the brush part off, you have the little pen extension here. So you click it up and you have the, the brush part. And you can brush all the particles off the front of your lenses. You know, if you get a little bit of dust on there, you know, particles, lint, all these things actually accumulate on the lens after a while you know some dust particles even inside the actual camera body so if you were to actually get some dust on it uh, around the mirror or something like that or around the mount part dust accumulates there as well because it actually has tears the way it's designed it's etched so it has tears where things get clogged up in those little tears in the actual body of the camera so with that being said this part of the uh, lens pen is actually a microfiber cloth and it looks like a chess piece or a piece that you might find in a Monopoly set but it's just like a uh, pen and you can use it. One of the best parts about this uh, lens pen is what it does is it contours itself and it, you know, it angles itself and it maneuvers itself to get around the actual parts of the lenses that you can't get with a microfiber cloth. So once you put it on the surface of the lens, you can move it at an angle you can move it, you know, pretty much in a 360 degree fashion at, you know, a certain angle in which you push it down at. So it's like a foot that rotates and that rotating foot will enable you to be able to get into the very corners of the lens. It really makes you feel like you're doing something. And the microfiber cloth that they have on here, it's really second to none. Like it really, it really grabs things and makes you feel like you have a safe, secure grab on any dirt that's possibly in your lens. So when that happens, you have a nice bit of friction that picks up. Now this really can't happen that well with the microfiber cloth because it's based off of how much pressure you can put on it by yourself. And that pressure is not direct, it's really spread out all over the lens and you can't get a piece of dirt that's stuck on your lens that well because you won't have direct pressure on that speck of dirt. But with this lens pen, you can put a lot of direct pressure in one specific point and you know, besides that specific point, you know, Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> You know wax on and wax off it almost like it feels like you're buffing your lens in a sense you're really buffing it like you know you're waxing something and then when you spend that much money on a lens and stuff like that when you wax it it gives you this feeling of I take ownership of the cleanliness and the um, basically the support of my lens the, the, the TLC of my lens so that's one of the things that this pen gives you. It's just a really nice product to have in your pocket. I'm trying to keep up with it as much as I can because I'm not good at keeping up with lens caps and lens body caps, you know, things of that nature. I'm not good at keeping up with that and this is not going to suffer the same fate as my lens caps. So with that being said, I'm going to use this as many times as I possibly can and get the most use out of it. I'll use it almost every time I go out on the shoot now. Now I didn't, I devalue the the lens cleanliness factor. Basically when I went out and I shot one day uh, recently, now I've been shooting for 10 years for those of you who know. Now I try to keep my lens clean, like I told you I used to use a microfiber cloth and I use still use it on backup. But the thing about it is I went out to a group um, shoot. I went out to a classroom and it was at school and I had a lens that you know was from another company and like I, I work with this company a lot, but I was using their lens and their camera and I was like, well, there's no fingerprints on this. This had a lens cap on it the whole time. It's usually kept clean all the time. It doesn't have anything that would obstruct my image or obstruct the view from my camera or my camera sensor. So I went out there and I shot this picture and unfortunately we were in a place in a theater which 
we had lights coming down in weird directions. When that light hit my camera, for whatever reason, the colors of the actual image took a shift. The exposure took a dramatic shift in one spot. And I did not know exactly what happened. I was like, why does this shirt look so reflective? He had a reflective shirt on, but why does it look so extremely overexposed? It looked like completely white. And there was this guy in the background, and I didn't know how to fix it. I just told him to cut off the lights, you know, after a couple of pictures after that one. So I couldn't fix it. So I almost completely destroyed an image. It was not shot raw. It was shot JPEG. I had no way of bringing it back in post. And I couldn't even post-produce these pictures because I was giving it to another company to post-produce. So with that being said, keep your lenses clean. And try to get you one of these lens pens. I, it comes highly recommended. It's cheap. It was like six, seven dollars or whatever. But it's <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Keep your lenses clean because if you're testing your lenses, especially if you're using shallow depth of field with wide apertures, you're using specific points of focus and things of that nature. Where when you try to focus, you want to make sure that you have a clean lens because you don't want anything one to obstruct that focus, two to give you any less image quality than you already have. Because with that being said, most of your image is going to be blurred by that wide aperture. And then on top of that, if you have a blurry side of your lens that you're trying to focus on, you're going to have an unsharp you know, result. And you didn't pay all that money to get an unsharp result. And that's throughout many facets of photography. Even at the um, stop down end of your lens, if you're at F11, things of that nature, you start to see these results. So that being said, everybody try to get you a lens pen. It's made from a U.S. company. Big shout outs to the U.S., a company in the U.S. who's making a profit off of a very good product. I'm Devin with Citrifex Studios. No, I am not sponsored. I am not sponsored. I probably should have said that in the video in the beginning, but I am not sponsored by lens pens. I just think that this lens pen idea was an excellent idea and it brought you. Not sponsored by anybody. That being said, I'm done with Centrifex Studios, and stay tuned for the next video.